All right, it's been a while, but I've got a lot of work done to this car. So I'm going to flip this camera around and show you how much we've got done. So I've got a lot done. I've got bumpers on, I've got lights on, I've got everything working, I've got interior in. And I've got right, re-chromed uh, rear bar fitted as well. New glass fitted to the front and the rear. Polished up all the stainless moulds, fitted all those. So I've got a lot done. Uh, I will start up in the engine bay. I fitted some rare spares uh, hinges and they are really good quality. Highly recommend them. Um, what a turbo 400 speedo cable, new one. I redid all the steering, uh, new drag link, tie rods. Um, super pro bush thing for that. Redid the intermediate shaft, pulled it apart, re greased it, put a new boot on it. Um, got the brake booster reconditioned. I think that was like 350 bucks from Brabon Brakes in Sydney. Um, fitted the short power steering arms under that. Um, got a HJ grill. This is the only one I had. I actually had this thing painted black and I had to paint it silver. So, um, and I just polished the stainless on that. It presents pretty good, so it's going to stay. I'm getting this bar re chromed, I decided, because the rear one looks so nice, I have to do it to the front. I've got some headlight surrounds coming in the mail, should be here in around two, three days. Um, fitted a battery tray. Got a battery clamp, so no defects there. Um, haven't really done much else in there. I've also got some King Springs. I had these um, sitting in the shed, so they're the super low for the front, so they're fairly low. Um, I've got a 22 mil, I think, rear sway bar and a standard V8 front that's going to go in and these have already been rebuilt um, new ball joints, bushes, so I'm just going to fit those upper control arms to save having to fit bushes and stuff got all the Kingswood badges fitted these are rare spares mirrors, or Kingswood Country, one or the other um, they do look a little bit sort of on the cheapish side but it's as good as it gets, so. It was a pain fitting this rear glass to these doors. The back's still the same, haven't really done much there. We'll go to the interior. As you can see, the seats are blue. That's because um, they need to get re-trimmed. So the front and the rear seats, they both need to get re-trimmed. Center console I'm going to paint and just buy a black lid. Um, I just wanted to fit all this stuff up. I fitted the Turbo 400 shifter. There's a cable one. So I just wanted to make sure it's all going to work and everything, So which it does. Decided I'm going to go with the GDS steering wheel. It's an original one, this one. Um, dash is all in. Yeah, new carpet done heaps to this thing, painted the glove box, even fitted the headlining, it's a bit dirty but it's very hard to get those edges there right, but I fitted that headlining probably, I think it took me like two days, something like that, or two afternoons, it wasn't too bad, seat belts, these are the factory seat belts, the old ones out of McFry. Um, yeah, door trims, we've got to get some door trims too. 1200 bucks to get four door trims, so I haven't done that yet. Haven't really decided on wheels yet either. Obviously not going to run those, because they're not cool anymore, like they used to be. I think this is at around maybe 17 to 18,000 at the moment. Currently, um, still, I'm estimating it's going to get the 25 grand if I had to guess. So that's doing all the work myself. 
um, that's going to be 308, which is the motor still over there, but that's going to be 308, uh, roughly 280 to 300 horsepower at the wheels. It's got a 308 diff in the back. I've got a turbo 400, so that's going to be the drive line. Um, 650 Holly, I'm going to go for. It's all under bonnet, and it's just been a nice streeter. Uh, seat belts. I've got these crusty seat belts I've got to use for the back. These are super crusty. But I like the original seat belts, so I'm going to try and clean them up and use them for the rear. That's kind of it, eh? I've not really say much else. That's just pretty much where I'm at with the car, so. Um, Still got a fair bit of work to do, got to do some bushes and that sort of stuff. Probably going to have to wait a little while to get um, that motor done and stuff. Because I bought flat top pistons, I didn't realise you got to rebalance the damn motor. So it's like I've got to send it off, get it balanced. And... So the motor's not going to be that budget, but it'll be still semi budget because it's just going to be a throw weight. So um, the heads for that motor, the VN heads, I ported those. The other day and they're over at the head man in town getting done so just getting the valve seats getting 30 thou shaved off them so that's pretty much where i'm at with the car um it's coming along very nicely i'm hoping two months maybe i'll be able to drive it we'll have to just wait and see um next video it's probably going to be maybe when i get the motor back in it because i don't really i can't really do videos of me um, changing wheels and stuff it's gonna bore the hell out of you guys so but overall it's a very big job restoring one of these cars I pretty much worked um, every afternoon till you know tea time my wife's always yelling at me um, yeah so it was it's very it takes a toll building these cars that's that's probably the best word for it so it's not for the faint-hearted um, definitely takes a toll I need a lot of motivation, but the finished product is well worth it. So, very, very keen to get this thing registered and just um, go out and enjoy it. Take you to the bottle shop, go over to my friend's place, um, just do all that sort of stuff. Just normal stuff. That's what normal car people do. Just drive their car on the road and go to like the odd car meet and stuff. That's heaps cheaper than driving 1,000 horsepower cars at events, I can say that much. <laughs> Although I do have two 1,000 plus horsepower cars for events, so... Um, yeah, I'll figure out what's going on with them later, so... But ideally, like, I really want to try and um, do drifting in this car anyway. I really want to try and drift this car, so that's probably going to be my main plan for it. Um, obviously, I might try to get it back to the drag strip too, just to try and... Uh, do a retune on the nitrous E85 and um, see what sort of numbers I can run. Um, but yeah, for now, it's just this car at the moment. Get this thing running, driving, and um, yeah, just go out and enjoy it. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I'll have another video up in a month or two, something like that. So, I'll see how I go. Um, just remember to keep motivated, and yeah. Cars are very stressful at times, but you keep at it and you'll get it done.